everybody, Larry Bella here from Bell Lost Souls, and I'm here with Adam Harry. Hey everyone. And today we are going over the Index Imperium, Imperium Volumes 1 and 2. And 2. That's Uno y Dos, yep. for those of you watching. There are two two volumes. They, they cover all of the forces of the Imperium. Uh, basically, Index 1 is anything that works power armor, and Index 2 is the everybody other else. <laughs> the riffraff. The riffraff, the non-power armor yep. superhumans. So, um, so each of these books, uh, fundamentally at a at a ten thousand foot level, these are very very similar to the Grand Alliance books that we saw Games Workshop knock out for Age of Sigmar. Yeah. And this is, I mean, they have a need. They have Eighth Edition is an entirely new system. It has a new way of doing everything, which means everything that they ever made in the game, every miniature for every army needed new rules and needed new data sheets. And the fact that they're all out at the same time with the core book, uh, core rule set core starter set is kind of cool yeah so it, it is pretty cool yeah and again just real quick disclaimer we are not going to go through page by page on these books so if that's what you're expecting this is not the place to to watch so it's going to be sad times so, sad times nice thanks for watching but uh, come back at the end all right <laughs> so each of these books uh soft cover soft cover uh each of the index now there is a, a whole series of five of these there books. are five they are not all the same size no. as you would assume because they are driven by the by the physical needs of how many miniatures are out there this is probably the largest it is probably the largest yeah yeah so it's really there are many space marines. many all you people who say that games workshop focuses too much time on space marines you now have physical evidence to back that up <laughs> it physically weighs more than all the others yep. okay so what we get is is all these books are built pretty much the same we have a table of contents. Table of contents. Let's move this guy over yep. a little bit. Okay. We have a table of contents. Um, and, and again, it's... it talks about what kind of a, what is a space marine, all that fun stuff here. Yep. Uh, but then we get into all the different types of units for space marines, the different warrior, all that fun stuff. Uh, and then once we get past that, we actually get into chapter specific things. So yes. we have basically the ultramarines because the ultramarines are first. Mm -hmm. Then we have the imperial fist, crimson fists. Black Templars, which are all Imperial Fist mm -hmm. uh, guys. We have the Raven Guard, Salamanders, White Scars, Legion of the Damned, Blood Angels. They get a whole section. And then we get Flesh Terrors at the very end. Then follows that is the Dark Angels. Uh, and then lot. Space Wolves. Because uh, of a whole, the, a whole lot of Space Wolves. Death Watch. Yep. Grey Knights. And then Battleforged Armies and Appendices. The Appendices are where you're going to find all the points at as well. Right. So. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to show you... Uh, we'll flip through and show you just an example of what's in this book. Obviously, you know, we're not going to go through every one. So, as an example, just flip into a totally random page here. We have company veterans. Yep, this is for regular Space Marines. Company veterans on bikes. Yep. So you get standard thing, you get their data sheet, uh, all their special rules, their data sheet, all their special rules. Yep. You get their... Um, and again, it's like this pretty much the entire book. Yeah, for each points. unit. Uh, yeah, company veterans covering the veteran on bikes. If there was a... <laughs> a unit that was on bikes and they had a different version. They're pretty much right next to each other for a lot right. of times. Uh, so, skipping around. Skipping to the Dark Angels as an example. Yep. So there's some Samael on his yep. bike. We this have is, interrogator uh, chaplains. Yep. Same thing. You're going to get artwork of the miniatures. You get all the data sheets. And the entire book is like that. Really, really quick. There's a Wolf Guard. So going to the Space Wolf sections. Wolf Guard Battle Leader. Bjorn. Yep. There's Bjorn's miniature. And Bjorn yeah, is beautiful. Bjorn is just kicking some thousand suns. <laughs> but you get the idea. So it's going to have all the stats like you would expect here. All their special rules, special weapons, just like we've seen for all of the other teasers. Uh, and it's like that repeated. Also at the front of each section is going to be any chapter specific rules. Yes. Um, I yeah. believe. Yeah. yeah. It, it yeah. also references. So uh, here's an uh, example. Anything really quick. Back. Yeah. There's a Death Watch army list. And what you get here as an example is this tells you this is what the Death Watch is. And then... You know, if they have psychic powers or any special abilities. They have, this is the special issue ammunition, which of course, because it's Death Watch. Uh, if they have any special command stuff. This gives uh, you lists of what their legal war gear is. Yep. Also, up here is actually each chapter, because they're slightly different, uh, they're going to have where you can find their other units at. So, and it's referenced back in the previous section of the book. For instance, the Blood Angels, uh, their full list is up there in one section, but they don't have any uh, Centurions, so you won't, you won't see that referenced in their unit section. Right, so that's the Death Watch, and then as an example, we're gonna just now skip all the way back to the back and show you an, an example. So this is a set of... These are ranged weapons continued, um, but you get the idea. This is this is all of the uh, war gear weapons profiles for all the stuff, and there are several pages of all this going on. Yep. Um, 
I do want to mention real fast, they have the Battleforged section that shows you how to build a detachment real quick and how to like photocopy pages if you wanted to. And do then that. each of the factions also has a section like this where they're specifically showing you um, points. Yeah, points. Because yeah. you need this to, if you're going to use the detailed matched play mm -hmm. rules where you actually have to um, specifically point out you know, down to the point, yeah. um, all your different unit options, uh, um, you know, if you're not using open or narrative play, you need those points. And, and you can and still build this is where they all are. If you if you, you could still build your army out uh, if you're playing open or narrative with using the granular point system, but I would recommend just using the power levels because you'll get approximately close. So, and you won't have to do yeah a lot of extra math like tri trigonometry. Or I don't know about that, but j definitely some geometry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the the thing I do want to mention real fast is there there are a couple things uh, when you're building a list. It has a points value per model um, with no war gear, so. Whenever you're building your army, you do actually have to pay for each piece for of war all gear. All the stuff. All of it. Like, all of it. Yeah, like, so, like, if you have a Space Marine who is equipped with a Bolter, Bolt Pistol, Frag and Crack Grenades, you gotta pay for all that. You need to look at the points and make sure that your point total per model is correct. Yep. So, you, you take the base point plus any war gear options that are listed here to, to create your army. So, so, that is volume one. That's one. Which is all about Space Marines. And now, them. through the power of magic and mysticism. Ta-da! <laughs> Should have a puff of smoke there. Uh, this is Index uh, Imperium 2. And again, this is everybody not in power armor that's a uh, yeah, Imperial so who we have, and, there, and there's a lot. We have Astro Militarum, yep. Adeptus Mechanicus, Imperial Knights, Imperial Agents, which Into is the uh, and Talons of the, of, the, of the Emperor. So that's the Custodus and Sisters, Sisters of Silence. Silence. Uh, the Inquisition is in, in, mm -hmm. in here. There's, there's all kinds of... of uh, oh! Uh, Sisters of Battle. Sisters of Battle are also. They have full list in here. No, they have power armor. Oh, maybe they should have been in the other book. We'll start some fights. Don't, no? don't even. No, okay. Don't, don't, even, go <laughs> don't, don't even go there. But yeah, right. it's 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 a lot of different armies in here too. Did we miss any Inquisition? Okay. No. Uh, Astro Telepathic is also in this book, mm -hmm. and the Admech. Don't forget the Admech. Yep. Don't forget the. No one ever. No one forgets, no one forgets the Inquisition. The Imperial Knight. Did I say Imperial Knight? I think so. I think so. Okay. They're all in here too. Imperial Knights. Imperial Knights. Yep. <laughs> they watch over us. Same thing. Yep. It's just like the first book. You get your cool artwork. You get all your different faction things. You get your table of contents. It's going to list all of the different, um, all the units with all the rules. Yep. Same see, thing we've expected. A, seen there before. is a lot of, uh, you know, obviously you're going to get the big factions that have a really large amount of units, like Astro Militarum, that are just huge. And then, you, and then towards the end, especially when you start reaching Talons of the Emperor and the uh, Imperial Agents, you get lots of these little teeny tiny, little, smaller, smaller like, footprint, like two to three, units. bigger impact. Yeah. Like like the Inquisition and stuff yep. like that. Um, same. We should show off a handful of things again. It's yeah. the same kind of same, format. Same thing that we've seen before. So as an example, we're going to take you through uh, Astro Militarum. And with Astro Militarum, and again, you, you get the nice little get, quick background section on it yep, if you're moves, completely new to the uh, new to the new to the world of, of the Grim Dark. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of who the Astro Militarum are. So. Yep, and then you'll get well, okay more on the actual time, and then if they have any special rules, you get it. So yeah, we didn't show this off for the other one. So the these are yet. their orders. So you yep. get all the orders, what's going on with them. Uh, it gives you lists of war gear because on most of these data, on on most of these um, of of the unit, uh, I don't even know what they're called. The data sheets. The data sheets. Data there we sheets. go. On the data sheets, I keep wanting to call them war scrolls, but that's inappropriate. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> so on most of the of the of the data sheets, it'll say like this unit can purchase. Um, you know, you know, so many of the models in this unit can purchase anything off the special weapons chart, right? Because they won't bother to list them there for brevity, so you get them all here. Yeah, and then you get the points for them on the yeah in the charts in the back. So you know, going really quickly, let's just go look. What, what Here's another like? again. Just a, we've seen this before. This here we have an infantry squad. That's so bread and butter of the Imperial right, Guard. They start off power level three. They have their options listed. They have their stats listed here. Um, they have their weapons listed, uh, war gear upgrade options all listed down here, all their abilities, uh, all of the faction and um, and their other keywords are all listed in the unit entry, entry, just like we've seen all of them all over the place before. Uh, yep. Just standard data sheets. You get every, it's 8th edition, uh, vehicles are all, and, and infantry are all unified, so you know, you know, here's all the su super heavy. This is a super, this is a Storm Lord, actually power level 27, so a little bit, a little bit more points. What are, wounds of toughness. Oh, real quick. Wounds of toughness. There you go. <laughs> wounds on this one. 26 wounds uh, with a toughness of 8 on the Storm oh. Lord. So have fun chewing through that one. And what's it save? Uh, save is a 3 up. 
Yeah, so you better hit oh, it with some Melta. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna be sad. a lot of lace pistols. A lot like of a lot. Like a million. Uh, they also have the damage table. So all the, that's new for eighth. For all the big units yep. that that can start to they they degrade, degrade yeah. as they as they take as they as they as they, as they get beat up. Yeah. Very very cool. We'll flip on past there. What do we have over here? Uh, we have we're in the adeptus mechanicus section. Yes, cataphracton breachers. Yep. So again, same deal. Full grad electro priests. Yeah. You know, it's you all there. The, you get the idea, right? Folks? You get the idea. Uh, I do want to really really quickly. So uh oh, he's picking out something special, I, I can tell. I'm picking out something very but special. you get the idea, you've got all the stats and everything like that for the... And then, of course, each sec, each faction is going to get their own special rules. The, the Adeptus Ministorum, bum, bum, bum. which is the church, which which has two army lists within it. So you get... This is really cool. So as an example, you get... The uh, Ministorum Axe army of list. Faith, um, Shield yep. of Faith, all kinds of special rules. And then you get kind of the generic uh, people like priests and crusaders... Death Cult Assassins, all the normal stuff, but then there is a separate list later, which is the um, Sisters of Battle. Yeah. And they get a whole list in here, and it's pretty cool. Battle Sister Squad. Yep. I'm going to pop fire. over one more. Death Disorder. Yep. Assassins! I'm not even going to bother showing you all of these. I'm just going to say that every Assassin <laughs> edition, they're crazy. Wait, which one's your favorite? Vindicare. Vindicare. Not even, yeah. not even in question. He's, he's so good in eighth edition. It, it's just what I love about about this entire concept of the weird little special rules that are all on the unit is that it has given the designers an ability to craft one or two little kind of neat rules that are absolutely based in the fluff. Yes. So that every unit does really feel like it's special and cool mm -hmm. and tied to the background. Yeah, the Vindicator. Uh... Ignores and volume saves and shoots the entire board pretty much. He has 72 inch range on his gun. It's just can bad. He can pick news. out characters. He can pick out characters as you would expect. He's just he's just bad. And his pi and his pistol's just as mean. Yeah. It has the same stats except it has a really short short range, which means because it's a pistol, he that's so like say that you charge him. Yeah, yeah. So you charge him and he's like, Oh, you're in one inch of me, so I can't use any of my weapons unless they're pistols. Oh, Guess did what? I, I have a pistol. That my pistol still has the, the same damaging stats as my rifle so bang you're still dead you're still dead thanks for charging me yeah pretty awesome pretty uh, awesome let's get to the end show again at the very back of this book we yep. have points for everything so here's an example here here's, points. here's astro militarum war gear range weapons all the stats yep. for all the weapons if you yep. need a, a reference sheet you've got it all right there and then of course points and then and then as an example here's a different one here's a death of mechanicus full points all the units and then all the work to get the idea yeah so. and you get that for everything in the book and there we go those are yeah. the uh the, uh whoa, popping out. that that is the index imperiums one and two one and two yep everything you wanted to know about the imperium but we're afraid to ask <laughs> points wise at least points wise and rules wise right here and that's it for those two yep. uh thanks for watching i'm larry vella i'm adam harry have a great one, guys.